Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a winter inspired makeup tutorial. I was really inspired by more purpley, mauve grungy tones. So that's the look I'm going to be creating for you today. I'm going to put it right here for you guys so you can see the before and after. I'm really really excited about this one. It's going to be a little bit more glam but I'm really excited. Also this video is going to be all drugstore again. You guys have been loving my all drugstore makeup tutorials that I've been posting. Thank you so much for all your positive feedback. I personally enjoy filming with drugstore store products so much just because it's so rewarding when you get a fabulous product or a fabulous finished makeup look and all the products are super affordable. So I'm going to be doing another drugstore tutorial for you guys today. Let's not waste any more time. Oh, I'm not going to step over. Let's get right into it. So I did my brows, my drugstore brow routine. You guys who have watched my drugstore videos probably are so sick of me saying this, but I use the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Shape and Fill Pencil and the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. Again, I have a drugstore brow routine if you're really curious on how exactly I use these two products. I will link that down below and also put a card here so you guys can check that out if you're interested. So let's get to it. We're going to start with the eyes today since we're going with something a little more smoky. I'm going to start off with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I love this stuff. You guys know by now it's amazing. I'm going to be using the shade Fair today and I'm just going to put that all over the eyelid and pat it out with my Aesthetica Beauty Sponge. Just making sure to blend that all out. I'm going to go ahead and set that with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I'm going to use the shade Fair for the eyelids. It's so funny because I bought this a really long time ago. Not really long, I guess a few months ago. And I used it like once in a tutorial and then... I don't know, I just never picked it up again. But then I've been using it a little bit more recently and I've actually really, really loved this. So I'm just going to dust that powder all over the concealer so we can kind of start to make a really nice base for the eyeshadows to go on. Also, I kind of have a photo inspiration. I found this on Instagram. I mean Pinterest, <laughs> but it's from Instagram. I just thought this look was so wintry but still glam. So I'm kind of basing the look off of this. I love going on Pinterest or just scrolling through Instagram for inspiration and then just kind of tweaking it and making it my own. So that's the photo that I'm kind of referencing, kind of. For eyeshadow today, I picked up the new Maybelline The City Kits eyeshadow, or Eye and Cheek palette, actually. There's like a blush and highlight shade in here, I guess. This palette is called Pink Edge. And I just thought it was really, really pretty and really wintry. And I also felt like I could create a look similar to the reference photo using this palette. So I'm super excited to use this. These shadows are really interesting because they're all like surface with each other. Does that make sense? So it's not like the plastic is raised at all. They're right next to each other. I'm not sure yet if I like that or if I hate it at this point. I'll let you know as I kind of go through it just because I've noticed like the fallout kind of falls into each of the different shadows since they are so raised up. I'm gonna be taking this shade right here, this little light purple lilac shade. I'm going to start to lightly kind of dust this through the crease and a little bit above. I'm taking a super, super light amount so that we can create kind of a transition shade with this color as well. I don't want it to be too harsh. I want it to be really, really faded. So I'm just working in layers here until we kind of build up the intensity that I want. I really rarely reach for like cool toned eyeshadow colors, but I don't know why I don't reach for them more often because every time I'm done with a look using cool tones or purples or things like that, I usually really love the finished product but I don't know why I always usually gravitate toward like warm tones initially but I really want to start using more cool tones I feel like winter is a great time for me to kind of play with cool tones it just matches the weather you know so I'm actually gonna take that same brush and go into the purple shade right underneath and I'm gonna start to kind of brush this all over the lid and then blend it up toward the crease a little bit Next, I'm gonna go into this matte black shade here. And this is what we're gonna to use to kind of add a little more definition to the outer third of the eye. So I'm just kind of buffing it on the outer V and working it into the existing eyeshadows. Just making sure that it's all really, really blended. Next, I'm gonna be taking my Maybelline Eye Studio Black Gel Liner. I'm just gonna take this on an angled brush. I'm just gonna start working this into the lash line. I'm not too worried about it being super precise or anything, but I definitely do want some definition along the lash line. I'm going in with another brush and dipping back into the black shadow in the Maybelline palette and just lightly going over the gel liner and kind of smoking it out slightly. So now I'm just gonna clean up any fallout as well as kind of shape the eyeshadow on the edges. And then I pat in any harsh edges we created with the makeup wipe just in with my finger so we can kind of stick to a more smoky 
chunky eye look. So let's hop into complexion now. I'm gonna go into my Maybelline Master Prime Hydrate and Smooth Primer. I really like this primer and I think it's a good option for winter just because it is a hydrating primer. I don't know about you guys, but in winter time, my skin is definitely more dry. So on the complexion, I do love to stick to more hydrating products. I'm just gonna smooth this all over the face. This is the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Foundation. You guys know how much I love the Matte and Poreless and I have never tried this before. So I'm really excited to try it. I felt like it would be a really good option for winter if you have more dry skin. So hopefully, I'm right. We will see how this goes. I'm not really sure how much you need with this. So I'm just gonna start off with a little on the back of my hand. I'm gonna put one layer on with a brush. Just kind of all over the skin first. I'm just gonna press this in with my beauty sponge. The coverage is actually really beautiful. So far, so good. Sometimes I'm like nervous about dewy foundations just because I do typically like a more medium to full coverage foundation. But I feel like this definitely provides a really nice coverage so far. We'll have to see what the finish looks like. So after applying that first layer, I really do like the radiance it gives my skin all over. There are still some blemishes I am wanting to cover up, but I'll just use concealer, I think, for that. So I'm gonna go back into my Maybelline Age Rewind concealer. I love to use two shades. I have light and fair. I'm going to use the shade light to kind of dab over any areas that I need a little more coverage. And then I'm going to use the shade fair to really brighten up the under eye area. Every time I use a purple shadow or anything dark really, I really want to make sure that my under eyes are super bright and super full coverage. That way the purple shadow doesn't further accentuate any dark circles I have. I normally like to blend out the blemish concealer first. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm just going to blend out the rest. To set the under eye areas, I'm just gonna go into the Maybelline Fit Me pressed powder, or loose powder, sorry. The loose powder. I'm using the shade Fair. This is the shade that we use to set the eyelids. And I'm just going to press that under the eyes. I'm also using the lighter powder on the chin and to set the center of the forehead. Then I'm gonna take the slightly darker shade. This is the shade 10, Fair Light. And I've been liking to use this to set the cheek area. It has a little bit more of a darker, warmer tone to it. So I feel like it kind of naturally helps to bring dimension back to the face in addition to setting the foundation. So moving back to the eyes, I'm actually gonna mix these two shades right here and I'm going to buff this on the lower lash line making sure to connect the eyeshadow here to this kind of angle that we created with the makeup wipe just so that everything looks like it's supposed to be there so now I'm just taking a detail brush with a little bit of that black shadow in the Maybelline palette and I'm just smoking out the lower lash line taking a little more of those purple shades and buffing out the edges of the black shadow just to blend that out a little bit more so next I'm going to take this infallible longwear eye pencil from L'Oreal this is in the shade nude and I'm gonna use this to line the lower waterline. And now I'm gonna pop on a little bit of mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. You guys know how much I love this. I'm gonna really try to focus it at the root because I am going to be applying false lashes so I don't need the top lashes to be super duper coated and voluminous. But I do wanna make sure that the root is really nice and dark and that there's not any powder or other makeup products in the lash. I'm making sure to really coat the lower lashes as well. I'm gonna pop on false lashes now, actually. I'm gonna use the Kits Ritzy Natural Black Lashes. These are some of my favorites, if not my favorite at the moment. I usually really like to use individual lashes, but if I don't have time or if I want something a little more bold, I'll go with these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these on. I feel like these will really help balance out the- Oh, no! I dropped the glue all over my shirt. <laughs> Oh dear. What I was saying was, I really feel like adding false lashes on a look like this will really help to balance out the top lid versus the lower lash line. If you can tell right now, the lower lashes kind of have a little bit more of a bold definition. And so adding the false lashes on the top will really help kind of balance the weight, I guess you could say. I don't know if that makes sense, <laughs> but that's kind of how I like to look at it. So I just put some glue on there. I'm just gonna take my old tweezers. These are really dull, so they're not gonna poke my eyes out. And I just like to let it kind of dry a little bit till the glue gets a little bit tacky. That way it won't slide around once you apply them. And then I look down into the mirror and press the middle right onto the middle. Make sure the rest of the lash is glued on. And same thing on this eye. And there we have it. So let's warm up the complexion. We're looking very fair right now. So I'm gonna go into my current favorite bronzer. This is just what I've been grabbing the most the past few days since I got it. It's the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It Bronzer. I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is in the shade light. It comes in three shades. And when you look at it in the pan, the light one 
them not as much as the medium and dark actually so I can't really speak for the medium and dark but for me it looks really shimmery kind of in the pan once it's applied though I feel like that doesn't really translate and it just looks really really nice and gives the skin a really nice natural sheen so I'm just gonna take this and press it onto the cheekbones we're just gonna build up color all over the skin my favorite is to apply bronzer around the hairline I just feel like that really brings life to the face Put a little too much there <laughs> but I just really love applying it along the hairline and even into the hairline because then it looks more natural like it's an actual tan that you've got I feel like when I use cool tones on the eyes I like want my skin to look even more warm just because I feel like cool tones tend to wash me out a little bit so adding a little more bronzer than the huge is what I like to do I'm taking some bronzer along the jawline as well and down the neck pretty much everywhere when I first got this I was skeptical if it would be good for a nose contour and it actually is I love it so I'm also gonna take a little bit of that and lightly kind of sculpt out the nose I like it because it's buildable so I don't feel like I overdo it with the nose contour which is really easy to do with some bronzers it's really easy to like accidentally draw a stripe down your nose I feel like this one really blends out nicely and is buildable so you don't have to worry about botching it as much as maybe some others I like to put it right under the lip too I'm taking my translucent powder brush blending that in for blush I just picked this up I've actually never tried it it's the Burt's Bees blush in the shade toasted cinnamon I heard about this from Kathleen lights I love Kathleen lights <laughs> I watch all her videos and this really looked exciting to me and she loved it it's a little bit more warm tone so I'm gonna not put it really close to the apples of the cheek I'm just gonna kind of press this further back on the cheek first because it is pretty dark and I don't know if it's gonna make my skin look muddy or what I'm just gonna blend this over the bronzer with that same translucent powder brush it definitely added some more warmth to the skin I think that's really really pretty and according to this picture I feel like she has a lot of tan on her face but she's using cool tones everywhere else so I'm just gonna go with it I like it for highlight I'm gonna use the L'Oreal true match lumi powder glow highlighter this is in the shade n202 two rows and I'm basically gonna hop back and forth between the two lightest shades here and I'm gonna use these to highlight this is much more of a frosty glow than I tend to gravitate toward but I feel like for this look it really really works just with the wintry vibes going on I feel like a more cool tone frosty highlight kind of works so that's what we're doing I'm adding it down the center of the nose I love highlighting right here for some reason in between the eyes and then I take it down to about there cupid's bow a little bit above the brows and then I'm gonna kind of dip into all four colors and I'm gonna do a pretty intense inner corner highlight and I'm gonna make sure to blend it into the shadows a little higher than usual as well as pop it right underneath the highest part of the brow so before we apply lip color I'm going to set the face with the kiss professional pro touch makeup setting spray I ran out of my morphe spray <laughs> so sad but luckily more are on the way so it shouldn't be long <laughs> I'm gonna remove foundation off my lips and then go into the Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lip Liner in the shade Toffee. I know this looks so warm right now, like it doesn't match at all, but I really wanted something warmer underneath. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Miracle Matte Lip from Flower Beauty in the shade Bear Honey, and this is a really much lighter pink shade, so I wanted a warmer kind of lip liner underneath so it's not too washed out. I'm just taking a eyeshadow brush and brushing away any mascara marks underneath the lower lash line. And then I'm moving back to the brow brushing through them to get any product out and then I'm going to touch it up with that same L'Oreal brow pencil I'm gonna set my brows with the Maybelline brow precise fiber volumizer in the shade soft brown I just use really really light strokes with this but I like it because it kind of boosts the volume of the brows and also kind of highlights them one more time around with the setting spray I just really want it to look dewy and fresh so there you have it you guys that completes this winter makeup look for 2018 I also just remembered that the color of the year is ultraviolet so I'm kind of pulling in some of those ultraviolet tones I know it's not an exact color dupe but I just feel like it's a little bit different a little bit more smoky than what I normally do and definitely more cool tones which I really think are beautiful for winter so I hope you guys like this tutorial give it a thumbs up if you did and also like the video if you want to see even more drugstore tutorials from me I love making drugstore makeup tutorials I just get a thrill out of it so please let me know down below if you'd like to see more also before you guys leave if you haven't subscribed yet please join the family by hitting the subscribe button and if you want to be notified each time I post I post three times a week so you don't want to miss out so be sure to hit the notification bell if you want to get notified every time I upload and that's everything thank you guys for watching I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video love you bye